Hey there, thank you so much for coming back to join me for today's video. So today for this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown, I do have a different type of scent. It's the Panama Jack Endless Summer. So if you'd like to hear about this, notes, what I think about it, because it is not the first impressions, then please keep on watching. So I had to give the self tanning a little bit of a break because I'm waiting for everything to fade. I need to shave and do like a good exfoliating before I could get back into doing self tanners. But I knew y'all wouldn't care because people do like my fragrance videos. And I have to say, this is a really unique, nice fragrance. I did buy this off of Amazon and I have to say the packaging is beautiful. So, so pretty. Just like that beach scene. So, so pretty. So you do get eight 0.4 fluid ounces and this does have notes of pear, um, grass, magnolia. To me, I also smell rose. Um, I don't know, it might just be the mix of everything, but this on me turns very floral and very rosy, which I don't mind um, just because I do like the scent of rose, but it has a really, really nice spritz. A little bit more aggressive than I'd say Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret, stuff like that, but it does have a nice mister. I definitely, when I first put it on, I definitely do smell like the green. Um, if you've ever smelled a really green fragrance, you know what I'm talking about. I can definitely smell those grass notes. It's a unique scent. It's a really unique scent. It's not overly sweet, which you would think with like the pear and the magnolia and it kind of turned in rosy on me, that'd be an extremely sweet fragrance and it's not at all. I definitely feel like this is something that could be very easily um, unisex just because while there is, you know, what you would think would be more feminine notes, like I said, it's not sweet at all. Um, there's something about it that also is a little bit um, musky without having musk in it. It's a very unique fragrance. I'm telling you, it's unique. It's a very, you really can't pinpoint it. You really can't put your finger on it, what you're smelling. But it smells really, really good. I think it's perfect for spring and summer. Um, definitely a great transition scent coming out of winter. Just a really, really unique fragrance. Staying power, I'd probably compare it to the Dolly Parton fragrances, the body mist, I'd say four to five hours. And I'm like, oh, where did my fragrance go? But easy enough to just reapply. I really like that it is a nice cloud of mist. Just, I wish I could, I wish you could, I wish I could just put, like hold this up to the screen and spritz it and you all could smell it because yeah, it's probably one of the most unique fragrances that I have. I definitely enjoy it. And it's like I said, this is definitely going to be something to be using a ton. Um, transitioning out of winter. We're still getting snow here. It's still cold. Um, we just got snow last night. So while this isn't super sweet, it definitely, it's, it's just a nice, it's just a nice transitional scent. I think if you like unique fragrances, if you like really kind of green with some florals, and you're not into super sweet, I think you'd really, really like the Panama Jack Endless Summer. It's really, really nice. And, um, oh yep, it actually says body mist for all. Yep, totally agree. I totally agree that it's unisex. Just a really nice, unique fragrance. Like I said, I did purchase this on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put it in the, in, not in the description. I'll go ahead and link it, like do the products link. Hopefully you'll be able to get it that way. Um, kind of done with doing the Amazon links, just I don't know how to do it and Sean's busy with work, so I, I don't know how to do that. I've tried, but anyway, but yeah, if you just go on Amazon, if you're interested in this um, and just type in Panama Jack Endless Summer, you'll, you'll be able to pull it up right away. But really, really nice scent and I'm glad I do have it. I actually bought this last year and I never got around to um, reviewing it. So it's just been sitting in my box in here of fragrances to review. And I got this out a couple of weeks ago and I've been kind of using it a lot. So really, really nice scent, beautiful packaging, affordable. And I love that it is unisex. So yeah, I hope, I hope that if you do get this, that you'll love it. If you don't, I definitely think you could, you know, return it or pass it on to somebody that you think would like it, but it's a very unique scent. Um, I've tried a couple of other unisex fragrances 
and this is definitely by far the best I've ever tried. I really, really like it. So yeah, if you're looking for a new affordable scent for spring slash summer, um, you don't like anything that's super sweet or super duper feminine, this is going to be for you. Really, really good stuff. But anyway, short and sweet today. Um, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments what fragrance are you reaching for right now. I would love to know down below. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week all about budget beauty. So it can be fragrance, skincare, makeup, um, home decor, spring cleaning, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe. And I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I'll see y'all here in just a sec.